All right, today, folks, we are putting on an air ride system on steer axle, 379 Peterbilt, 2003 model. System comes from 12 gauge customs. Instructions here, comes in a full kit. A bunch of fittings there. It's everything that comes in the kit. One thing it does not come with is bolts for the brackets for the airbags. Now reading through here, it gives you worded instructions. Okay. All right, so we got our uh, 90. Got the air line coming out of the tank. We're gonna wrap Teflon on. We're gonna wrap this backwards so that way. When we screw it in, it doesn't tear it off. explain this to you right. switch up so this is going to be your this is going to be coming from your primary tank it's going to be your supply line this right here is going to go to your airbags we're going to add a brass t over here so you can separate this is going to go to your air gauge so you can see how much pressure you have and this over here is just your exhaust exhaust there oh, whoa, let's go Return. Return. Is it the return? It's just the exhaust. It's just exhaust there. It's just exhaust. Solenoids. We're gonna run these later. Well, these are gonna be your grounds. Make sure to wire them right on the cruise control switch. This is pretty much gonna be making your airbag go up. It's gonna be making it go down. Make sure you hook everything up properly. That's it. Yeah, sure. Some of the parts come with the kit. Obviously not the tools, but uh, all your elbows and air fittings and everything you need. All right, so for our solenoid valve, we mounted it inside the frame. To try and keep it all real nice and clean looking. Real close to our air tank. Air tank is right here. We'll run across here. For our inlet. Once we get our inlet in, then we'll run down frame here for the right airbag. We'll go across and down the frame there for the left airbag. You mount this valve just about anywhere you want to. A lot of guys put it right here on the on the firewall. I mean, you can if you want to, but as long as it looks real clean, we're going to come down the frame rail right here with the line. We're going to come out. We're going to go right down this a harness right here come right to our bag all right so we're going to start running our line for our right front airbag we're going to come inside this harness right here As you see we're going to run it back into the frame okay make it look real clean we're going to put it down in the frame down in there and run it back you see you probably can't see it right there but back there where the solenoid is valve solenoid now, put these two pieces on there and thread that in and then thread this in and put our line connector on. We got our line coming through here. Got a couple of zip ties on there. Got it right through this harness. Nice and clean. Right there. Going back to the back and then we're going to hit the cross member and go over to the left side of the truck for a T. All right, so on the left side, we've got the line, airline coming up through a hose bracket, back over the frame, down behind the frame. We're gonna uh, tie it back on the uh, fuel line there, and uh, we're running it back, tying it inside the frame, all the way back to the next cross member. Right, we got our line on the right side, coming down under here, over here left side coming out right there all right so this is the uh three wire sheath wire that we're going to use uh coming from the solenoid up to the toggle switch inside the cab so that way we can adjust the ride height from inside the cab uh, we got ground and hot for up and hot for down we run this down in the wiring harness going back up It'll go up in the cab right here by the firewall. It'll be going right in through that wiring harness right there. 
Alright, so we got the valve, similar valve uh, palmed in, an exhaust going back, dumping out behind the uh, cab there, supply line coming from the tank, outlet line going over across, comes over to a T, this T goes to the left, airbag, right airbag. Right up that way. Wires, we're in the process of hooking up wiring right now. Make sure you zip tie all this stuff up. Back here, have our three wires. We have two grounds and uh, two grounds, one hot up, one hot down right here. Fun part, coming through the firewall, had to pull the glove box out, bring wire up back here, come out by the switch panel. Here we go. All right, so this kit comes with plenty of uh, airline, uh, but depending on where you want to mount the uh, uh, solenoid valve depends on how much wire you got so if you do buy this kit make sure you buy a little bit more wiring because you're probably gonna need some <laughs> and so we got two switches here that's not being used we're gonna take the switch out and replace it with a new switch uh, wired in all right so outside the cab just underneath the uh, cab here we're gonna mount the regulator valve regulator be mounted right right there underneath the uh, cab all right so our uh, our electrical hookup and airline hookup was very uh, almost non-existent in the package that we had uh, so we had to add a few things I'm gonna show you here on this picture that I drew myself of how we hooked it up so that way it works properly as you can see here go to airbag supply tank check valve to the solenoid this supply side of the solenoid all right when we go out re return supply to the bags right here this line secondary line comes out goes to the inlet on the regulator it's coming out of the edge of the uh, supplies of the airbags goes out to the other side of the regulator. You have a line going from the gauge here. All right, switch, ground, power, up, down on the switch, and you got your exhaust. This regulator is going to set you right high. You set your pressure 40, 45, 50 pounds, wherever you feel like you ride, where you want to ride at. And this is going to be your your. Uh, you're basically a uh, safety line or supply uh, supply to air uh, to the airbags otherwise you're gonna be sitting there if you got any type of leak or whatever you're gonna have a have to be hitting a switch all the time to keep the front end up or down or whatever okay and if the switch malfunctions you're also gonna wind up having over air problems or whatever so this is gonna be your, your the way your regulator ties in it does not show that on the instructions with this kit so that being said that's what we come up with all right so we come out of the back of the tank here we've got a quarter inch line coming here for our regulator we've got the half inch airline connector going to the supply side of the solenoid we bought this coupler here this coupler here to go into the tank. This is a check valve. Check valve has to be on there, okay? Yeah, no, fuck that. All right, so power from our switch, we're gonna come, we gotta ground up here behind there. We're gonna run over, and then we're gonna come down here, and then we're gonna get power straight from the fuse box over to our switch to send power to the solenoid. So this is the new switch. This is your power for uh, 
This is gonna be your power coming from the fuse box. This is gonna be your lowering airbag. And this is gonna be your upping, your rising. Okay, we got her on a switch, got a nice, I can't even tell a different switch, huh? No, I would have <laughs> used the same parts again. All right, so with the limitability of uh, instructions on this thing, we had to do a few more modifications. So what we had to do was, is we had to make sure that we tap one side of this uh, uh, valve into, this line's going to supply before the valve, before the solenoid, and this one's coming to the bags after the solenoid to buy, make a loop, secondary loop, so that way we can control our ride height right here. So we set it at about 45 pounds and it automatically sets the truck for the ride height. Now we tie it directly into the line. You can buy fittings or whatever you want to do to, to put it on there. Um, it's kind of limited on the instructions when it comes to uh, setting up the air system on this and hooking up these valves and everything. Uh, but here's what we got on the uh, valve here. Secondary air tank, come off the secondary. be doing quite a few more of these so subscribe